All right, this is Dr. LeHugh. Glad to have a couple of my kids with me today. We're talking about the Enneagram and we're talking about holidays. So the perfect holiday for each of the types. She's an eight, I'm a seven, he's a five. So let's begin with the one. What's the perfect holiday for Enneagram type one? Probably Labor Day. The one day they decide to take off because it's mandatory. <laughs> and it's for a good reason. Yeah. Work. Work. Work is important. Now that's something I can get behind. Work is something important. See all those other people over there not taking it seriously? Not me. I'm at work like I'm supposed to be. I'm a one. We don't have fun. We work. That's how one sound. It's verifiable. <laughs> I think my dad might have been a one. Dad, I love you. And still. Don't worry. He's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dad. If he is, there's tape over the camera on his computer right That's now. That's true. Yeah. Because you know, actually, you might be a five. There is tape over his camera. Because, you know, the government loves watching. nothing more than would... to spy on old men in their office. Yeah. <laughs> it's verifiable. Doing nothing all day. So, Dad, if you are watching, just watching once again, I'm telling you, I'm sorry. So, just apologizing. Okay. So, you recognize the voice. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Number two. The perfect holiday for the two. Thanksgiving. That's, yeah. They get a lot of food to make and make everybody happy. Especially nines. <laughs> nines get really happy around Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I think Thanksgiving, you know, like, you go to Grandma's and there's all the family and all the food and... Everybody's full, and you go around and tell everyone what you're thankful for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. You know, it, twos love being like that spider in the cobweb, you know, and, and <laughs> fixing, fixing the food, and everybody's in the room talking, and they're all having a good time, and the spider's in there, you know, just orchestrating all this. Spider's venomous. Oh, some, he said some spiders are venomous. There's your five fact. Yeah. So, but you know what? If you've got a two like that around Thanksgiving... You know where you won't see them? At the table eating, mm -mm. right? No. Because they're getting you seconds. <laughs> they're up getting you seconds. They're standing over in the corner, you know, do you need something? Do you need something? Do you need me to get you something? Mm -hmm. They spend all this time making this dinner, but then they can't sit down and enjoy it because they got to be helpful. Yes. So helpful. Maybe that's how they enjoy it. I'm just going to tell myself that so I don't feel so bad for them. Yeah. That's how they enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> scooping up my mashed potatoes <laughs> mom sweeping. we want to thank you for fixing us thanksgiving dinner and we were glad to let you help us no please get back in the kitchen while we sit at the dining room table more mashed potatoes on the sweet potato uh, more <laughs> marshmallows on the sweet potato otherwise go. it's just a vegetable yeah <laughs> all right threes threes the holiday for the three the achievers uh uh what's the holiday for the three Mm. thought of something, but I can't remember what it was. Valentine's Day? Valentine's four. Day. That was a, a chance four. to be admired by many? That seems like a four. It could eh, be. I think I have a good one for a four, though. Oh, hey, I got it. Day. So for the three, Valentine's Day is about you giving them a card. Yeah. Because they're admired. Like, think like first grade Valentine's when you're like counting up how many cards you got. I got four cards. How many did you get? You got six cards? You know? Yeah, you remember you get all these cards from kids you didn't even like. Yeah. You're like, Susie, you want me to be your Valentine? Why'd you give me a Bob the Builder Valentine card? I don't like this. I don't even like you, Susie. Ooh. Ooh, get on my face, Susie. <laughs> Do you like Susie? I don't know anyone named. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask a kid if they like someone. Stammering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a kid named Susie. <laughs> Does it yeah. have to be a kid? Yeah. Yeah, it might be the teacher. <laughs> My teacher is my mom. So, and my Home computer. props. And my computer. Wow, so. you are a troubled child. <laughs> well, I do okay, like moving my on computer. to the four. Okay, so I like that. The three, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Get me some admiration. Get me some well, Valentine's Well, and it's a chance cards. to go to like a fancy dinner and eat this. Oh, you're supposed you know. to do that? <laughs> some people do. I don't. Um, oh. No yeah, wonder my it, wife's upset. You get dressed up and you look your best and you go to a nice movie and dinner and I don't know, that seems like three stuff. Yeah, be sure. admired. Yeah. But maybe don't expect to get a card from a three. 
Hmm. I or don't think do. I've ever gotten a card from a three. <laughs> well, <laughs> I yeah. wasn't their type. <laughs> yeah. Do you get cards from anybody? Uh, no. Just a nine. <laughs> Zach bought me a card for my birthday that had a picture of a dog farting, blowing out candles. So <laughs> nice. that's the kind of quality I'm worth. <laughs> nice. Well, maybe a little less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was being generous. All right, maybe the like four. a dog burp, but maybe not the fart. <laughs> okay. All right, the four. What holiday? The individualist who walks well, to the beat of a different drum. What holiday is there for them? St. Patrick's Day, because it's different. <laughs> it Maybe. is different. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is Halloween. A chance to dress up, be anyone you want to be. I'd say that's more like a five. Eh, could be. I don't know. So, like, wear, wearing personalities? Yeah, you can try on a new look. Wear, break out your wigs and your fancy shoes. So you all got, fours you know? wear and wigs. Your blood capsules and toilet paper. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> now we're talking about a five. Yeah, not the same. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. An opportunity to try on something new, see how it feels. Because they say that about fours is that they kind of sometimes, maybe when they're growing up, they sort of move through personalities. They say, you know, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna be now for a while, but then that doesn't really fit them or. It doesn't make them different enough, and so, and also, fours are not afraid of sadness and sorrow and darkness, kind of darkness, keeping diaries and all that kind of stuff. Keeping diaries, memoirs, <laughs> the memoirs of a four. Oh, <laughs> we're so mean. I really like fours. I do too. I used to have some four friends, but after watching this, you probably are all yeah. Done. They don't like you anymore. Yeah, they wrote me off. There you go. Now uh, you're an eight. We don't need them anyway. Yeah. We don't need you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That would be a good line. What? We're an eight. We don't need you anyway. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if it rhymed, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be perfect. Great. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, moving on to the five. <laughs> <laughs> the five. The perfect holiday for the five. Columbus Day. Because without Columbus Day, then we wouldn't even have America. And so none of these holidays matter anyway. <laughs> He's never been. What do you he think? never came to America. I shouldn't have said it. Now we're going to get a lecture about Columbus. Talk loud enough so they can hear you. Okay, you're a five. Is Columbus Day a good holiday for a five? No. Why? Um, A five would probably know this. Christopher Columbus never came to any American continents. He actually went to the Caribbean. He had to come to America. We have Columbus Day. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. It was the guy that wrote Sleepy Hollow with the Headless Horseman. He wrote a Irving. fictional book. Washington Irving. Yeah. He wrote a fictional book about Christopher Columbus. All he did was kept his name and um, all that. But he didn't prove the earth was round either. You can either. fast forward this part if you want. <laughs> he didn't know the earth was round either. He actually thought it was the shape of a pear. Really? <laughs> so what you're saying is George Washington wrote a book about Christopher Columbus and then ate a pear. That is uh, awesome. It could have been Daniel Boone because neither one wore a coonskin cap. Yeah. And it's a fact that Daniel Boone never wore a coonskin cap. Yeah. You learn something every day. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I already know everything that you wore. <laughs> okay, moving so on. So Columbus what? Day. Okay, so then not, if not Columbus Day, what? Scene out. If not Columbus Day, you then what? edit that whole scene out. This is the best part. People love you. Yeah. Mm. Not my experience. There are little girls all over the world watching this clip right now. There's fours right now saying, I think he could make me miserable. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, so all what's right. the holiday then for a five? They don't have one. <laughs> if they National came out of their Donut room, Day. we could find them. National, National Donut, Donut Day. Day. Okay. All right, that's fair. All right. How would I know? I'm a seven. Yeah, not my thing. National Binary Appreciation Day. <laughs> It's not a real holiday, but... I only have one response to that. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero. That's not anything in binary. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> All right, the six. What is the holiday for the six? The loyal skeptic. Mm. I got an idea. Okay. Veterans Day. Oh, we salute you. Veterans Day. Why? Because our veterans are what keep the country safe, right? So we appreciate all the veterans. Sixes are all about keeping everything safe. So veterans, we thank you for keeping us safe. That makes sense. I like it. Makes sense. Okay. What about sevens? I already know. Mm. Okay, say it then. Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the um, ultimate holiday? No, New Year's Eve. So many parties. Mm. I don't do that. He's a preacher. You don't. <laughs> Counting seven. <laughs> That's right. 
Okay, Christmas, explain. explain. Well, I mean, Christmas is the ultimate holiday, right? And seven is the ultimate number on the Enneagram. Oh, did it's you hear fun. that, Breeze? There's oh. lights. It's exciting. I mean, all you need is fireworks, and then you got it. There you go. The fireworks is your holiday. Yes. That's New Year's Eve, too. Fourth of July has got to be the eight holiday. Only Americans get it. Yeah, independence. Mm. Yeah. I'm big. Yeah. I'm free. Fight the powers that be. You know? I'm strong. <laughs> yeah. I'm powerful. Yeah. We don't care about you anymore, England. The one day yeah, of the England. year where it's legal to shoot off fireworks. Yeah, England. Yeah. Keep mm. Christopher oh, Columbus. Keep your tea. <laughs> yeah. Keep Columbus. Yeah. You were the Caribbean. <laughs> wasn't, Col wasn't Columbus from Spain or was he Italian? He's from Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> That's true. I think he did visit Indiana once too. Yes. So Because I drove through yes, that town. Because. Thank you, Bourbon Indiana County High School, for teaching me all this. We're homeschool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, eight Independence Day makes sense. Yes. All right, nines. Nines, the last one. Save the best for last. Probably also National Donut Day. <laughs> I think nines is probably New Year's. New Year's. Because we'll get around to it next year. Yeah. yeah, make a bunch of make a bunch of resolutions that you will never do. Well, you'll quit by February. You'll give it a little bit of a try. Yeah, but then you know whatever needs to be done around the house, you can say, yeah, we're getting around to that on New Year. New Year's. Next year. Yeah. Next and year. you know it starts the year. It you know I don't know. I'm trying to think of some redeeming quality of New Year's. <laughs> Stay up late. Someone has to kiss you. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it works. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we wish you blessings. And you can contact contact me through the con uh, the information in the description. And as always, be present to life. Don't miss what is right around you because you want something that's perfect in life. Just accept life the way it is. When you need help, reach out to the Lord. He's there for you. All right, guys, take care and have a great day.